good morning guys today we are going to see part 2 bhf aigf and lgtfc dg shipping exit exam question and answer part 2 question is what are the symptoms of asphyxiate when lpg and lng carried as cargo option a increased rate and depth of respiration and loss of consciousness option b blueness of the skin option c satorious breathing with snoring sound option d all of the above the symptoms of asphyxiate asphyxiate is nothing but difficult to breathe the region which is have less oxygen that region is called asphyxiate so here answer is all of the above yes you will get the respiration issue you become unconscious when there is less oxygen you breathe less oxygen and blueness of the skin set here is breathing it's not in sound your breathing not proper improper it goes up and down it make noise so answer is all of the above Question number 22 Inert gas. How is seawater supplied to the taxi? Option A through the main seawater pump or through the condenser cargo pump. B through a seawater aggregate pump fitted on the cargo deck. Option C through the deck fire line. Option D through the deck seal pump fitted in the engine room. Answer is option D through the deck seal pump fitted in the engine room. This is seawater pump supplied to the deck seal. Deck seal will be on the deck and it is supplied continuously seawater to flow in it in order to make the seal of the deck which is the inner gas system. It passes the inner gas passes through the deck seal to the tanks in order to prevent reverse flow we need deck seal. So same cycle tube toilet concept we have to continuously have water in it. So it is done by your deck seal pump which is present in engine room. Question number 23 on tank vessels which of these valve types is most commonly used in conjunction with hydraulic actuated control option A non written valves option B globe valves option C butterfly valves option D gate valves answer is option C butterfly valves most of the time all valves are therefore butterfly valves it is actuated operated by hydraulic what is the critical temperature of methane in degree celsius answer is a minus 82.5 degree celsius options are a minus 82.5 degree celsius option b 82.5 degree celsius option c 52.8 option d none of the above answer is option a minus 82.5 degree celsius on tank vessels equipped with the power operator cargo tank was the type of power operator most commonly used is hydraulic option a hydraulic option b electric option c steam option d diesel answer is option a hydraulic because in hydraulic it can absorb the heat and it is there is no loss of work so we can use it hydraulic oil in operating of valves where high pressure is involved there, will, there has to be work that has to be done when there is a work there is a chance of heat liberation this heat has to be absorbed by hydraulic oil we cannot use electric because it can produce spark on the deck there is a chance of fire steam have a habit of getting corrosion so we cannot use steam diesel same is a combustible material we cannot use the valve best suited for throttling gas or liquid flow in a pipeline is the option A globe valve, option B gate valve, option C check valve, option D plug cock. Answer is A globe valve. The globe valve is a valve you can adjust the flow. Next question What is the boiling point at atmospheric pressure of ammonia? Option A minus 42 degrees Celsius, option B minus 34 degrees Celsius. Option C minus 5 degrees Celsius. Option D none of the above. Answer is option B minus 34 degrees Celsius. Next question. What tanks are self supporting and do not form part of the ship's hull structure? Option A independent tank. Option B membrane tank. Option C semi membrane tank. Option D none of the above. 
answer is independent tank. Independent tank is nothing but assume that there is a cargo hold like bulk carrier. Cargo hold is there. Inside the cargo hold, you are keeping one tank with only supporting by the chalk at the bottom to keep it in place. Okay, it is, there is no welded or bolted connection to hold the tank in position. This tank is called independent tank. So same concept, we use the independent tank in LPG, LNG vessels. Okay. Question number 29. Ammonia form explosive compound with option A. Mercury alone. Option B. Mercury, chlorine, iodine, bromine, calcium, silver oxide and silver hypochlorite. Option C. Silicon. Option D. Water. Answer is B. Question number 30. A bigger spell spill of LPG will be visible as a dash which is condensed water vapor from the atmosphere. Option A, water cloud. Option B, blue cloud. Option C, black cloud. Option D, none of this. When LPG gas mixed with water, it forms like a white cloud. That is like a fog. When it is reacted with the water, it will form like a mist or fog. So, it will be visible as a white cloud. How is boil of gas generated? Option A, evaporation. Option B, heat ingress. Option C, the drop in pressure. Option D, all of the above. Boil of gas is nothing but in your LPG or LNG tank, inside gas, we are keep it in liquid form by pressurized or by refrigeration or with both the possible method. So, when this is come to the boiling point, this liquid becomes gas. That gas is called boil of gas. So, Answer is all of the above. It will get first, it will absorb the heat and there will be a drop in pressure inside the tank, it will get evaporation. So, all of the above can happen in boil of gas generation tank. Question number 32 What are the necessary conditions that must take place for an electrical discharge to occur? Option A electrostatic separation, option B electrostatic accumulation, option C electrostatic discharge option b all of the above the answer is electrostatic accumulation this is nothing but just take a assumption of your oil tanker or your bunk bunkering process you are doing loading or unloading operation or bunkering process the oil is passing through the pipe it is producing charge the liquid is producing charge it has to be dissipated to some place otherwise there is an accumulation of charge electrostatic accumulation this is called electrostatic accumulation so in order to discharge we always make the pipeline with continuity wire that will keep ensure that the pipes are uh, continued that means the flow of electrons can be absorbed by the connection pass through it so there is no chance of charges get accumulated so it will be dissipated in this condition so answer is option B electrostatic accumulation. Next question. Gas ships cargo compressor room, cargo tank area or option A snap pack area, option B gas free area, option C gas dangerous, option D all of the above. The answer is gas dangerous. Because cargo compressor room, cargo tank area or the area the chances of leakage are Gases is more. In cargo compressor room, through from the compressor, the pipeline connection connected to the compressor. In cargo tank area, same pipeline connections and also there is a relief wall. So, when the tank is getting pressurized, it will the gas. So, this area is a gas dangerous area. Next question. On, on board LNG tanker, which of this equipment is not required for gas burning? Option A, vacuum pump. Option B, gas heater. Option C, compressor. Option D, steam dump on main condenser. Answer is option A, vacuum pump. Because vacuum pump is not required in LNG tankers. It is always we keep the tank in atmospheric pressure or we keep it in pressurized condition. There is no need to create any vacuum. So, vacuum pump is not required. 
Which of these would you consider essential equipment to carry when working on the deck of ship carrying ammonia? Ammonia is toxic in nature. Option A, gloves. Option B, personal thermometer. Option C, gas mask. Option D, personal hydrocarbon alarm. Answer is option C, gas mask. Next question. What is the condition of inert gas as it is produced by the boiler or inert gas generator? Inert gas should be prevent combustion in cargo tank or in wherever the area we are putting. Because in cargo tank or in any places like liquefied gas tanks, and there is a gas, it is a very less boiling point temperature, it can catch fire. So there is a medium in fire triangle, fuel is available. Next is heat. So gas tankers boiling temperature is negative when it is contact with sea water or with atmosphere the temperature is more than enough to get combustion so only way of preventing is removing oxygen from the place so you will cancel or remove fire tranquil point arm that is free of oxygen options given here is option a free of oxygen and clean option b hot and containing soot particles option c dirty and saturated Option D, superheated and black or beige on color. Answer is option A, free of oxygen and clean. Next question, for what reason cargo sampling is necessary in as tankers? Option A, to establish safe condition prior to cargo transfer. Option B, to establish that the cargo is within commercially agreed specification at various points. Option C, both A and B. Option D, none of the above. Answer is option C, that is both A and B. When you are taking sample, we have we make sure that sample is matching with whatever the specification given by the charterer or the cargo person who is giving cargo to us. Maybe we can be off, off spec to ensure that we will take sample sent for laboratory and ensure it is matching. And also, if it is not matching, we will be in commercially lost. That's why we are taking sample. What is the main danger to be guarded against when discharging using a cargo heater with seawater as a heating medium? Option A over pressurizing of the gas side of the heater. Option B freezing of water side of the heater. Option C over pressurizing of the water side of the heater. Option D overheating of gas side of the heater. Answer is option B freezing of water side of the heater. In the heater, the medium going to we are going to heat is gas LPG, LNG, or any gas whose boiling point temperature is at the same many time it is negative. When any negative temperature contacting with fewer seawater, it will freeze because the freezing point of the water is 0 degree Celsius at atmospheric pressure. So when it is in contact, it will get freeze. So in order to prevent freeze, we are normally we add glycol. We add glycol which will prevent the freezing. So that is the danger we are facing it. Okay. Next question. If cargo density is different from the specified by the float gauge manufacturer, what will you adjust? Option A float correction, option B trim correction, option C tape correction. Option D, list of correction. When there is an issue with the float gauge, we are going to do correction in on the float. Okay. Answer A. Last question. What is the guiding rule for limiting pressure surge during loading or discharging? Option A, stop the cargo pump. Option B, first close the ESD wall nearest to the pump. Option C, finally close the ESD wall. Option D, all of the above. Answer is all of the above. Okay. ESD emergency shutdown device. It can be operated remotely, it can be operated locally, and it can operate automatically. In automatic condition, if any change in pressure, any change in abnormal movement of the ship with respect to your terminal or ship or truck which is giving liquefied gas to us. Okay. There is the normal conditions. Otherwise, your tank pressure is going high, your tank temperature is going high, it will automatically give signal to stop the pump, stop the compressor, stop the wall, close the walls. This is the function. Okay. So, option D is the answer for this to maintain the surge, pressure surge. We automatically move flow of 
liquefied gas to this system. Okay. Thank you guys. This is the answer. Whichever I know, any correction, please correct me and put your comments. Any concerns also will come in the comments. If, if you are not subscribed, please subscribe my channel. Please like and, and, and entertain me, encourage me to show interest to put more videos if you